I think the swap station can play a very important role in this new kind of grid system. Welcome to a new episode of House of Neo. Today we are talking about battery swapping technology and behind me is our new generation of power swap station. Back in 2018, when Neo launched the first generation of power swap stations, each one of them was storing five batteries. But on this one, the third generation, each one of them is storing 21 batteries. So let's talk today with Dr. Fei Shen, Vice President of Neo Power, to learn more about the differences between the second generation and the third generation. Dr. Shin Fei has been serving as the SVP of NEO Power at NEO since 2015. He owns over 20 years of experience in the power and energy industry and is committed to the R&D and commercial application of power system analysis and control. What motivated you to join such a young company? William told me that NEO will have a battery swap for the, for the new electrical vehicle. And I'm very interested in the, in the power system control, like energy storage and other kind of things. What can the power swap stations give to the grid? The main purpose of our swap station is still uh, to help our EV users to get a very good experience for, for recharging. This kind of recharging experience should be beyond the, the gas refueling. We try to find some uh, opportunities to to cooperate or interact with the grid so that we can help the grid to use more clear energy like uh, solar and, uh, and wind power. I think the swap station can play a very important role in this new kind of grid system. For example, our new generation, I mean third generation of swap station has uh, 21 batteries, which means it is a 2 megawatt hours energy storage system. So during the last NEO day, NEO unveiled the new generation of power swap stations, the third one. What are the main advantages? What can you tell us that it's now even better? We accelerate the swap speed at least 20% for third generation of swap station. It only took uh, 4 minutes and 40 seconds. We optimized the design of swap stations. We lowered the, the swap platform, so which means when the vehicle parking into the swap station, uh, it is much easier and uh, the users will be comfortable for that. All this uh, is prepared for some future new smart features. Now, let's jump quickly to the Hungarian capital of Budapest. There, we have our power plant which assembles all the power swap stations that you can see throughout Europe. Let's talk now with Tibor Seregi, head of the European Power Manufacturing Technology Center, to learn what NEO has been establishing in Hungary. The main core business in Hungary, in Biatorbágy factory, is the PSS assembly. So we are responsible also for the training as the main competence center because we have the, the most knowledge in the, in the PSS assembly. So let me show you around the factory. Oh, perfect. So now everything is ready to be shipped to the countries. Uh, thank you for having us. You're welcome. See you soon. After the assembling process of each power swap station in Hungary, the trucks drive thousands of kilometers to the final destination. In this case, it's Stockholm in Sweden, where we open our very first third generation power swap station in Europe. Now that we have seen the full path of a power swap station, let's go back to Shanghai to learn more about the future of new power in Europe and globally. In terms of future, how do you see our global power network? So we see that today we have nearly 1,400 in China, we are also having in Europe, but in the long term, in four, five, six years, how do you see it? Yeah, I think we will continue to build uh, these infrastructures 
contain both swap stations and uh, charge stations according our vehicle volume increases i think mm -hmm. and uh, uh, because this kind of infrastructure is still the most pay points for the for the users when we do this kind of infrastructures we will consider the interactions with the with the power grid so that our system will keep a higher efficiency for that and in europe where we have begun our work for the infrastructure then we will continue to continue our work on swap stations and uh, the charge stations. Thank you very much, Dr. Shinfei. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of House of Neo.